Hey everyone, David here from Brilliant Directories. In this video, I'll be showing you how to post articles to your website's included blog feature. So here we have a sample Brilliant Directories website with the default theme. Now, of course, all of this can be fully customized, but let's head on over to the website blog tab. And here is the blog role for your website. Now, this is a page that will automatically be updated whenever you post a new blog article. Now, just to clarify, this is the website's blog, which is different than when your members post articles, assuming that you allow them to do so uh, within the members settings. Now, members articles are published to their own profiles or to another page that you set up. Only articles that you or other administrators post will show up on this website blog page, okay? So to post an article, we'll log in to the dashboard and we will go to members. So here we have three sample member accounts. These are the accounts that uh, come with every Brilliant Directories website by default. So to add a new blog post, we're gonna wanna log in as the admin blog contributor. So we'll just click the login button. It'll open up a new tab. And then in blog articles, we can go view blog articles. Here you can see our sample article, which is published. This is the one that is live right here. And then you can see a test, which is a draft. This means it's not live. However, it has been saved. That way we can come back, we can edit it, we can make changes, uh, but it doesn't show up in the live blog role, the website blog page. So to add a new post, we'll click the add a new blog article button. We can choose the title, we can choose the category, we can enter any tags. So these are separated by commas. And then we can post the article content. Uh, what you can also do is click the code view button. This will give you an HTML editor, gives you a little bit more control, uh, more styling options. If you know HTML or CSS, this is a very useful feature. We can also choose a featured image. So we'll just choose this one. And we can also add some custom SEO data if we would like. Now, for the published setting, if we choose no and we save the article, it will be saved as a draft. If we choose yes and we save it, we can refresh this page and you can see our article gets posted to this page. So you can see our tags, the um, title, some of the content within the article and we can click read more you can see our image the tags the content title the category that it's in when it was posted incredibly easy now let's say you have a team member who you also want to allow to contribute to the website blog but you want to let them have their own uh, account to do that we'll go back to the dashboard We'll click the add new member button. Uh, we'll put in an, their email address. We'll make a password for them. And for the membership level, we want to choose admin blog contributor. This is very important. So we'll create the new account. And now we can log in as this member. They can log in. Uh, we can go to blog articles, add blog article, and it's the same process. Uh, now, one thing to note, if we go to view blog articles, these two articles, or actually three, because we have that draft saved as well, they won't show up for this member. Uh, the articles that show up in this view blog articles pane, this is only articles that uh, this member posts. So this member hasn't posted any articles yet. So there's not going to be any articles uh, within this view blog articles pane. Okay. Now, uh, last thing for categories. So if we add a new blog article, you can see we have category one and category two to choose from. To edit this, we will go back to the dashboard or the admin and we'll go to toolbox and form manager. For the form, we'll select feature blog articles. We'll scroll down and right here you can see the categories, category one, category two, we can add a new category and we can edit existing categories. Uh, so we'll just do that. 
and we'll save these changes. And if we refresh this page, you'll see we now have our new categories, okay? Super simple, really quick, really easy. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.